What's up guys, it's your boys Juice87 here and today I want to uh, go back through my Xbox Elgato HD60S streaming setup. I was called out on Twitter by a good friend of mine and a fellow follower of the channel, uh, Egod Carnage, and I'll put his Twitch below because I told him I was going to give him a shout out um, because he made my life a lot more uh, simpler here. Uh, we were able to get the audio going through um, kind of in the setup that I'm using, uh, but going through a different way. And you could still use your regular headset um, for your controller. Um, and then you still have this mic to talk to your stream. So now I'm going to go ahead and go through it. So stick around. Okay, there's the Elgato HD60S. And here is the USB 3.0, USB-C input here. Obviously nothing's in here yet. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in to my tower right here on the USB 3 section of the computer. Now it's very key that you plug it into the USB 3 section of your computer. If you don't, this is not gonna work out for you very well. Okay, so now that I got it plugged in, that's the USB-C port that we talked about. Next is the HDMI cable coming from the Xbox. Now I don't have anything going out of it because it's not going to another monitor, so I don't really care. These are the only two connections that I'm worried about. And as you can see, here is my Xbox over here. We get it plugged in. And again, the cable, oops, the cable's right there, all plugged in. All right, what's up everybody? Okay, so, um we're going through this and as you can see you can hear the sound uh, we'll start up apex Legends. so i just want you to make sure that you guys hear the sound and so forth and then i'll go through how i got it to show up okay so obviously you can hear it it should shouldn't be crazy loud for you guys um within the stream now in my headphones it's it's pretty loud and i'll get to that when we talk about the sound settings and how you can adjust the loudness in this particular headphone because what you're listening to in here is not necessarily what your stream can hear okay so you can hear the sound i'm not going to actually play a game but you can you can hear everything let's go to their uh let's watch it like a finisher or something um uh, quips and let's see here okay <laughs> you just got caught on the wrong end of my muzzle. There you go. There's sound. Now, let me go into how I get the sound going. All right, so what you want to do is you want to so at the beginning of the video I showed you the setup of how the HDMI cable from the Xbox is going into the HD60S and the USB-C is going into the computer. Now, I do not run another HDMI out of the HD60S into a TV, I do not do that. What I do is I use the instant game capture here just because I like full control over my stream. Now, the instant game capture does have a cache video that it, it, it saves so it can really run up the, the size of your space of your hard drive if you're streaming for a long period of time. But if you have a terabyte hard drive, you're not gonna run into that problem. Or if you have a, a ton of space, you're not gonna run into that problem. So uh, again, reason why I use it is I can control the game audio. So I can turn this up to 100. So this is everything my chat hears. So I typically like to keep it anywhere from 60 to 70. The Xbox is pretty loud. So I'll probably put it at 65 and have it run through that. So we're gonna hide sidebar. And that's the only thing I use for this program. Um, the rest I control in the Streamlabs and it's not, it's not too crazy what I control. So that's, that's the first part of the sound. The second part of the sound is make sure your chat audio goes through. Okay, so when you're at the home screen, you wanna hit the Xbox button on your controller. Right there. And you wanna to go to settings. And you wanna to go to display and sound and go to volume. Um, what you wanna do next is you wanna to go to party chat and output and make sure it says headset and speakers. Now when it says headset and speakers, it's gonna enable your chat still in here, but it's also gonna put the sound of your chat 
through your HDMI audio output, right? And that means your game capture is gonna pick that up. And that's how your chat hears your sound. Now, the problem is if you're using these Astro A40s that I'm using, one of the best headphones of all time, and they've been around forever, I have this little dock here, right? Um, with this little dock, it, the problem is you're gonna hear like a little echo within your head. Now you're the only one that can hear this echo, but you're gonna, it's gonna sound like your, your chat party's layered. So it's not necessarily gonna be an echo, but it's gonna, you're gonna hear it twice. And it's gonna definitely sound like it's two audio lines talking on top of each other. What you have to do there is you could still control the volume of your controller with this. The problem is you're not going to use the voice at all. You're not going to use voice, but you're going to move this all the way over. So right now it's in the middle. You're going to move this all the way over to make sure it's all 100% on game. That way you could still hear your team talk, um, but the, the sound's going to be flat. And the reason why you want that to be flat is because you don't want to mess with the audio too much because I noticed a couple other streamers that stream on the Xbox, they haven't necessarily figured out the audio piece. So I don't control anything in here. I could just make sure it's at like half volume and I could hear everybody. But I also make sure that my chat can hear everybody as well. And that's why I go back to these, the HD Elgato um, instant game view software. And I probably put it around 60 or 70 to make sure you guys in stream can hear it. So that's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. All right, so we, we showed you the simple setup for the HD60S, um, which is pretty self-explanatory. Again, one more time, HDMI from the Xbox One to the HD60S, and then USB-C from the HD60S into the computer. And again, we do not, we do not use a second HDMI cord to plug into any TV or monitor. We strictly use the HD gaming capture software, the instant game view. Now, that doesn't mean you don't have to, you can't use a TV or something else. I just always like to be in the know what my stream is actually looking at. So if I'm watching what my stream is watching at the same time, I have a better chance of fixing it pretty quickly. Um, without restarting stream or changing any setups. Plus, I do everything from my computer, so I have the ability to minimize it, switch out games on the fly without any problems. I personally love using the HD um, Instant Game Capture. Now, you're not going to get Instant Game Capture unless you have the HD60S. So if you have another Elgato device that's not the HD60S or the 4K graphics card or the PCI extension that comes with it, that are uh, come separately, but you have a chance to buy it. And that's what other big streamers use as well. There's a little card. I'll put the link down in the bio, uh, profile below, uh, description below the video. Dang, I cannot talk today. Um, but those are the only two that offer any instant game view, right? So if you don't have any of those, it's not gonna work because there's always gonna be a lag. Um, then you would have to set up your stream differently. Now, couple questions and, and answers I get all the time Sully I use Streamlabs or OBS whatever it may be and I just have my capture card hooked directly into Streamlabs or OBS that's fine do, do what you got to do um, again I personally don't like that because it's hard sometimes to adjust the sound and then Streamlabs OBS for me have updates all the time and my settings get kind of out of whack um, that's why I always stick to the HD instant game capture software that Elgato provides. Again, I don't stream from Elgato. I just use their software. Um, another thing to make sure that people understand. Yes, I was using my headset microphone, um, to talk to my party chat and to listen to game audio. And I was using this microphone to talk to my stream. Now, the problem is with using this setup, you're not going to be able to hear what your stream hears. So every now and then, if someone on your streams, like I have weird audio, plug these headphones in and try to pick up to see whether what's wrong or use your cell phone go into another room and try to listen to your own chat and, you know, have people talk and whatnot to troubleshoot. But again, you're not going to be able to hear everything that your stream is talking about or listen or hear everything your stream can hear um, because you'll be using your old headset. Now, granted majority of your stream at this point is only going to be listening to whatever you're playing in on xbox so i mean theoretically you guys are listening to the same thing but sometimes if you have music going or anything like that 
um, for the stream. You might want to make sure that you check the um, quality of the stream before you really hop in your Xbox and start playing. Okay, so the last part of the video, I'm going to go ahead and go over some Elgato tips of the stream. That way you guys can see what's really going on. Um, I'm going to hide my camera. Okay, so I'll put, uh, I know it could be kind of frustrating with this stuff, but I'll put something here so you don't see like the endless zone of screens here. Um, so real quick, this is the editor portion. Um, as you can see up here, editor um, for the stream. Um, as you can see, this is uh, the mic I'm using. This is the Yeti mic, the black one that you see in the video. This is the mic that my stream hears. Um, so this is really neat here. Now the audio desktop audio is everything that is picked up through the computer. So since I use, like if you notice all my streams, I use display capture, um, which is the actual monitor displaying whatever is within that monitor um, as a source rather than an actual game source, which a lot of people use like Hearthstone, for instance, they actually just pick up that particular source. Again, I like all the sound coming through one, so I have an easier way to troubleshoot. So I'm gonna upload, I'm gonna load my game capture in again. It's probably up on screen right now. Let me minimize it and move it around. The reason why I have it up is so we can uh, hear some of the audio come through. So I'm gonna load uh, Apex Legends in another screen. And as you can see, you can, you can hear it. And it's coming in pretty loud. Because this is a video. So now let's see, desktop, audio. Um, I turned it down big time, but you can hear it faintly in the background. So when I have my HD capture or my HD 60s set up, this is all this is playing all that sound from the USB C cable uh, and the, and the uh, instant game capture. So that's all that sound it's picking up on the desktop. But not only that, so let me turn the sound off of the the Xbox. So we'll just turn off the Xbox. There you go. Now there's no sound there. But at the same time, say I want to, say I want to have like a, a YouTube video up or music in the background. So as you can see, I'm opening up YouTube in another window. I got three monitors. Um, and we're going to make sure that's a hundred percent mute. So we don't get the ads. Okay. So here's a chill mix and I have it up there. So these, this is just a chill mix that I play on stream sometimes. Um, yeah, so it's being picked up again by the desktop audio. And now I'm, remember just a little bit ago, I told you to use those other set of headphones and I have those on right now and I can hear the music because that's what my stream hears and it's being picked up by my desktop audio. So another positive is I can have everything running on my desktop and it's going to pick it up. So that's why the chat works from the, the from the Xbox is because you're pumping the chat out of your TV headphones. But since we don't have another HDMI plugged into a TV or headphones, which this doesn't it doesn't matter. No, let's turn this off. But a reason why your desktop is picking it up because we're pumping out that sound to make sure it goes to the HDMI and output somewhere else. So that sound is coming from the HDMI that's plugged into the Xbox into the HD60S and out the USB-C cable into our system. So we're able to pick up everything and this is why it's fantastic. Now I'm going to switch screens here and I'm going to load up my actual. Okay, so there's my camera. Um, again, I'm going to probably put something over this like right now. That way you don't see the infinity window. You're not going to be able to see my face, but that's okay. Um, but this is like my general stream setup. So again, um, this stuff, let me just turn that off. So again, my mic uh, is being picked up. Desktop audio is going to be everything that's there. Um, as you can see with my sources, I just have an alert box. I have my camera up and I have my display capture. I don't go anything fancy yet. I highly recommend until you get everything set up correctly, don't be super fancy. Uh, just make it simple. The simple, the better, because you can control a lot more. 
Um, obviously, as your stream grows, you can get pretty dynamic with the alert systems and so forth. Um, yeah, don't just don't try anything crazy yet. But then I got my basic. I use the Vampire um, free from the themes up here for Streamlabs OBS. It's free. It's pretty dope. Um, it created the effects around the camera and so forth. But I got a now I'll remove that piece so you can see the starting soon. This is what my stream will see. Then we'll go to intermission. What's up, everybody? Um, as you can see, um, I got a couple new followers and whatnot. And this chat box does work for uh, my chat. So anytime someone says something in my chat, it'll pop up here. And then I got to be right back when I have to take a tinkle. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, very simple for an Xbox stream. Don't overdo it. Get the audio down. I know there's going to be a ton of questions about the audio. I'm going to open it up for questions at the bottom uh, in the comment section of this video. Anytime you guys need anything, just let me know. Um, I'm always, if you notice on the PlayStation 1, um, you can reference the PlayStation 1 down below. It's relatively the same setup. Um, the audio is just a little bit different there. Um, that video has over 20,000 views. Um, and if you notice in the questions, I try to answer every single one of them. Um, so please leave your questions below. I will get to them. Like the video, comment, subscribe. Uh, it would just be awesome and help the channel keep growing. I'm all about helping people. What I notice a lot um, with other videos, a lot of people ask a lot of questions and they're just commenting. It's just the people that have questions are only the ones communicating in the video in the comments. And I, I hated that uh, just because if you're going to show someone how to do something on, uh, and you you know put your name on it, you have to explain in detail and, and, and ask and answer their questions uh, of if they're trying to use your, your actual setup. So if you guys want to use my actual setup, I'm going to be here to help you out. So please be patient with me. I do get a lot of comments all the time. And my goal is to answer every single one of them. Um, so always give me like a day or two before I get back to you. Uh, but yeah, I greatly appreciate it as always. Thanks for coming through and we'll see you next time. Deuces.